It's always funny when I saw the last time home, the first bike I thought it was, was Dodge. Yeah. Which yeah. is funny if he's um, relative, but... You never know, he might fight like old Dodge, eh? Yeah. Might get him in the clinch a bit. Well, he's definitely not as ugly, so that's a good start <laughs> anyway. Hopefully Dodge is out there watching somebody having a laugh. <laughs> It was a good fight, had a great undefeated record for a long time, Dodge. He won about 12, yeah, well, no, 16 or 17 wins in a row. Just grab a hold of you and just knee you till you couldn't stand anymore. No pressure on uh, young Billy Hull there to yeah, that's carry right. the name. <laughs> the 3 3 is, um, it's going to be a good matchup. Look at these boys, they're obviously fit, and I'm expecting a pretty fast pace right from the get go. Especially from Joe. Give himself the name the juggernaut there and he must be going forward and not stopping. That's exactly right. A lot of the crowd was um, definitely silent before the fights at the beginning of them. I could really feel the tension, but mm. yeah, the crowd, they're, they're in a little bit more, a bit yeah, more they are. atmosphere. Yeah, everyone's suddenly a bit more into it. They're like hitting. Definitely. And those fights early tonight, they were great fights right from the get go. They set a precedent, especially with those, uh, the start of the eliminator fights. For sure. But even their first fight tonight was an absolute boomer. When you start, people start getting split open, blood starts being spilled in that ring, it brings something more to the fights. Oh, yeah. You go for up sure. there and you walk around, you're the fire that goes in next, and you see the blood drops on the mat, you know something's gone down in here, and you're next. That's right. And let's get ready, round number one. The Super Waterway, three, three minute rounds. Mean looking approach from Will there. It's a quick start. My father is trying to get on the inside so they can control their grapple yeah. a little bit. And a quick exchange of knees by both lads. Staying strong in the clinch there too. Good clinch work, good fighting for the hands from position. Maybe he does know dodge. Yeah, I know, it's a great, great knee work. Oh, what a right Good hand. Good right hand. They can uh, right kick to the uh, root cage. Well, we got the quick start we were um, asking for, Sammy. Yeah, from the opposite person, I was expecting Joe to come out and storm forward. But he seems to be still on the back foot here at the start of this round, and maybe that's the plan. Keep him back and stop him from coming forward. Yeah, we're all staying on him, isn't he? Not letting him breathe. Oh, strong. Now I think, guys, the right hand landed by Greenwood. He'll go for it again, and he's hurt him this time, too. Yes. That right hand was arrow straight twice. Joe needs to get some separation here. Get back to exchanging. Definitely, uh, Joe wants that separation to try and land that straight punch again. Needs to get out of the corner. Use some ring awareness, peel himself out from the split. Good work, got his back out of the corner. See if he fights from the distance. Oh, there's yeah. that right hand again. Good, good work being aware he was getting turned into the corner there. Yeah, the first exchange of knees to go after it too. It's no easy feat to keep throwing knees like that. No, William Holt's great on his knees. Joe's measuring himself. Measuring. He's, he's, wait, he's not going to help me. He's, he's going a, for that magic good right hand. He's got a sniper rifle for a right hand, yeah. and he is siding it up. Oh, great rain, guys. Well done. Well good success from both guys there. Joe definitely has it with the hands, and William in the clinch, good control and good strong knees. Yeah, and to be fair, a lot of that first round, 
was falling at closer quarters. All we're joking, we're gonna use that right hand. They're very well fighting the hands and fighting for position. A couple times locking up the arms so they couldn't get control it a bit better and move through it. Yeah. There's skinny bony guys that drive those bony knees into your ribs. Yeah, that's Doesn't right. Feel nice. No cushioning like us fat fellas have. <laughs> Joe's breathing into his stomach a bit there. Yeah, Sammy, I know what you're like with your fight, it's with mine. Sing it down. You've got to slow their breathing down. The moment they get back, you know, they recover more quickly. And when you're not puffing and panting, you can tend to listen to your cornerman a lot better too. Come back, take your three deep breaths. Try and push your ribs out. Big inhales. Uh, Joe needs to break himself out of the corner here. Yeah, definitely. Uh, being trapped in the corner is exactly where William will want you. Yeah. Oh, he's looking for that right. Let's go! Quick knees. Yeah, that left knee in particular, very effective from home. Very well. He's finding it, letting him know where his liver is, definitely. Good shot to your liver, shuts your whole body down. There's no, no stopping at the tempo of the fight either. No, he's, he's still keeping a good pressure, good pace. Good work controlling Joe into a corner. He's going to try and keep him here in the corner too. Joe needs to move, peel out straight away. Yeah, it's definitely been a fluctuating fight. Yes. Very good ring control from Will, turning him into the corner every time. It's very great to see. Knowing where he needs to put his opponent, hit him against the ropes. And Joe Green was like two good left hooks on that way. That last one was an absolute beauty. Yeah, he's not giving not giving Joe the space he needs to throw his hands. As soon as one or two punches come in, holds just on him. Well, he has to. He's on Joe's quite good in his boxing skills. Yes, he's definitely had very early success with it. Yeah, right there. That was a good bit of fighting there on Joe's part. He made a miss and then countered. Exactly, exactly right. Another good knee from Hull. I thought it was the big shot just missing that time. Just missing. Now, one thing that's noticeably different is Greenwood is starting to land a few more knees late in the second round, which he wasn't doing earlier. No, instead of trying, or oh, a little bit of a heat clash there, instead of trying to avoid the clinch and try to get out of it, he's starting to embrace the fact that he's in it and he's got to do something about it. Yeah, Standing really. there getting kneed is not going to work for him. Yeah, the last half minute, 40 seconds in particular, where you got a lot busier and close. You got the nuts right there in the end. I'll tell you what, if, it's going to, if that's going to happen, first at the end of the round when the bell goes. It's bound to happen, especially with uh, being in the clinch. There's so many knees, one's going to slip in there. Oh, you watch, you watch how they were nice high knees up into the ribs, and they, they, as the fight's going, as fatigue's going, they get sucking a bit lower. A little bit in the middle there, knee in their thighs, just even little tap taps. Actually, it's funny you say that because um, uh, William did that, he started not being the thighs. Yeah, he did, about yeah. About halfway through that round, yep. but every other knee went high. And I always reckon knee in the thighs is great. Cut that both tree down at the base. Definitely. That's something, um, speaking of Jake later on, like George is a big man, big tall man. Yes, he is. And Jake's got to try and knee low, kick low, and yep. hopefully slow George down. Gonna... George is um, just kicking the hell out of bikes from a distance. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's a, a task in front of Jake. It's good to see Jake approaching challenges. Yeah, too right. It's what we want from him. We know how good he is. We want to see him go for these hard ones.
Okay, now it's quick start for both fighters in round number three. Joe's got some fire in him. If he can keep his distance, or oh, another head. If he keep the distance and just use his hands, he'll have much more success. Yeah, he made a good right in there, but uh, William cut that distance real nice after he wore it. Yep. He, he knows exactly what he needs to do when the punches start flying. He knows how to get straight in on it. Yeah. After this, I mean, we did call. We thought it was going to be a quick pace fight, and that's what we've got. All these pieces are going to be like Oh, nice jab from Will. Oh, now Will with the right hand. Once again, being smart, turning him into the corner, keeping the knee pressure on him. He did that really nicely. Okay, he's a bit of clarity on um, when I start, no, it's not down on his shoulder. It's just a red wall. Nah, it's the paint. back there. It's all for the pasty boys. Yeah. Nice rib kick. Good body lock from Joe there, keeping the shoulders up high. Oh, good. Beautiful team there. Wait for the left hook team. Hey. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, that one, Big squeeze from just Joe. Just halfway point in the third round, and one of them's got to produce something pretty definitive just to get this contest. Yes. Those flank kicks are a nice start. Oh, another big no, run. Big run. Good shot too. He just needs to stop following himself into it. Just trust that his hands there and go back to throwing that punch. Yeah, it's funny. He ain't a brutal for right hand. They got him close. And all credit to Will for closing in on this is too to get that clinch. Bess, you're 100% right. There needs to be a definitive thing here. We could be looking at a split decision. Yep. His seconds are ticking away in the last round with only half a minute to go. 30 seconds left in the fight. 30 seconds. Yeah, both uh, guys going for an absolute <laughs> flurry of knees in that far corner. Good work by Will turning him into the corner there. Yeah, he does that very nicely, doesn't he? The second he feels himself touch the right, you watch him just twist his hips. Now it's yeah, here we go. Shots over there by Greenwood. Ah. That was a great well fight. That was a, a top three round of this, I mean. Really was. Good work from both guys. They definitely went through a war on that one. They did go through a war. There might have been any clue in, but there was plenty of great, great attention with their kneeing and the kicks to the body. And a couple of good shots landed with the punches too. That was an enduring fight. Both guys know they went through a fight in there. Yeah. And yes, you're right. They may not be split open. They may not be busted nose or anything. That was an exhausting fight for both members. One thing I know is, um, well, Blair Moore was pretty confident in his decision. He had his paper up there straight away. Yep. Sometimes if the judge isn't confident in the way the fight goes, it takes a while to get that paper to the um, main table. Yeah, it was interesting. See what the judges went with this one. Yep, let's go back to center ring, folks. After this, we've got the final of the four-man matchup. Guys, big round of applause. All right, fight nine. Go to the judges' scorecards for a decision, and it is unanimous for your winner from the blue corner, Will Tom Ha! So the judges probably just went the high work rate on the knees. Yeah. Knees with that. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, he was very good on that. Very good in the clinch, very good at controlling the fight as well, knowing exactly where he had to put the fighter yeah. to get his knees to work. Being aware of the danger coming in from the hands. 
A good win for Will, that is. And all credit to old Joe on that one for going through the motions and going through a hard fight. Will did not make that easy for him. Uh, he was in right to the end too. 